Welcome back, y'all. We on vlog 200. This joint should be like an anniversary or something, right? Because it's 200. You know what that means, right? 165 more days left of the year, yo. I've been vlogging every day since the year started, and this is vlog 200, which means if there's 365 days of the year, there's 165 more vlogs until this year ends, guys. And I wanted to give you guys some input because, to be honest, my head's been all over the place when it comes to this vlogging stuff because, like I said, earlier in the year, getting adjusted to the daily vlogging was interesting. Now I'm adapted. I'm adjusted to it. But now it's like, it's warmer weather, and I know I told you guys about warmer weather bringing on temptation, um, you know, doing a variety of activities that involve fun. <laughs> and we all like to have fun, don't we? And one thing about me is that I'm very hands-on. I like to do a lot of fun, creative, outgoing, hands-on things, but when trying to focus on film, hold on, let me let this ambulance pass. Let that ambulance pass. Yeah, when trying to focus on film and video production, you're trying to juggle that and balance that with your personal life and your extracurricular life and trying to make money and trying to be creative and do things from the heart and all of that stuff, it's kind of complicated. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, I like a bunch of things, like riding a variety of, of, of toys to, to even RC cars to RC planes to just, you know, doing a, wow, what happened over there? A bunch of tow trucks. Yeah, but doing a bunch of stuff and I've been trying to find ways to incorporate it in the vlogs because I know I told you guys it was going to be film related, but it's also going to be about me, you know, director from the hood and it's also going to be about vegan, you know, because I'm, I'm a vegan. So that's why I show you guys vegan food occasionally. But with 165 more vlogs left, it's almost like, like, wow, what to spend them on, right? <laughs> Should I spend them on, on educational? vlogs should i spend them on fun vlogs you know should i spend them on like i was even thinking of like doing like some restorations and stuff because i like to customize stuff and you know i can shoot my own restoration you know let's say get something for you know a small you know cost or whatever and then re restore and customize it with you guys and shoot that in a cinematic way right so that you guys can see the process and i can kill two birds with one stone i can still do what I like to do, you know, still enjoy my hobbies, but also shoot it in an educational way where you guys can learn something. Oh, I need the money, right? Can't do anything without the money. But yeah, maybe shoot it in a way where you guys can learn something and it can be entertaining also, you know? Capture some cinematic angle, shot, show you the process. That's also, you know, learning and teaching me while teaching you guys at the same time. Pump four, right? So I kind of been, you know, stuck. Let me see. Two dollars and pump four. Two dollars and pump four. Where they at? Nah, it's cool, man. Can I get two two dollars and pump four? Premium. Yeah, that's crazy. You got young boys trying to pump gas. Now. That's a shame. And then I'm on a bike, bro, bro, like, there's really no assistance needed with a bike. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Sad to see youth out there, you know, starting to do that. Ask for change. You hear that? That was another one. That was a whole nother youth asking to pump gas. I mean, I guess it's better to have them here pumping gas than out in the streets, right? Out in the streets up to no good on the corner. I guess if they can make 10, 15 bucks a day pumping gas, but that's just strange. It's different. It's weird. You usually see like the old heads, 40s, 50s, 60s, the ones all strung out out here doing that. Every, you know, occasional, once every, let's say, a couple of years, you might see some, some teens. But I don't know. Yeah, y'all, so I've just been like at a crossroads. We're at this 200 mark, and, you know, the year's been interesting. I've grown a lot and I want to continue to grow and I want to continue to grow with you guys but I would like to allow you to have some input like should I bring some RC stuff into the picture should I bring you know some bicycle pedal bike stuff into the picture should I bring some some you know I, I don't I don't know talk to me so you know restore something build something I don't know you know within my means within my budget where I can shoot in a cinematic way make a cool video out of it yeah so 
I'll figure something out. I just wanted to give you guys some of my thoughts. I wanted to give you some of my thoughts just so that you guys knew where I was going. Because I got some projects coming up, like some, you know, filmmaking projects and some things. Uh, however, you know, it's 165, yo. <laughs> 165 and it's gonna go by fast. These 200 went by fast. It felt like yesterday they just started, you know what I mean? I'm still thinking about it. Like, I remember when I hit vlog 100 and now I'm, what, vlog 200. That's what, 100 days ago I hit vlog 100. Ain't that crazy? And we're at a whole 100 days later. And in the next 100 days, it'll probably be cold season when we hit vlog 300, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm proud, I'm happy. Um, I'm continuing to look forward to growing, to learning more. I'm looking forward to what the, the future has in store as far as business propositions, business offers, you know, upcoming unboxings and upcoming music videos and, you know, just trying to execute some stuff. Trying to make it work within my means, within my schedule. And I definitely want to have some more fun, guys. I want to have some more fun with you guys. You know, tonography entertainment should be entertaining. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the funny thing is, is like growing up, I was kind of taught like, like not to spend too much time on those type of things. And that's sad because a lot of those multi-billion dollar companies, they get started, get started from just, you know, being children at heart. You know what I mean? They like focusing on their childhood craft or the childhood dream when i was a kid i did so many things like i can't count how many things i did i was like a jack of all trades i used to learn yo i mean yo the resume is crazy from you know things with certificates and things that were just skilled and learned you know hands-on so it's like man it's hard y'all so yeah i'm probably about to bust a couple willies i'm hungry i feel like going to deets and watson do a little bit of practice at Decent Watson. And then, not to mention that, I'm supposed to have the sticky mounts coming this week. They're supposed to come in. Yeah, so then I'll be able to give y'all some more viewage. You know what I mean? I know I've been stuck to this to this one view. But, you know, it's a view, right? <laughs> yeah, y'all. Shut bust the wheelie, shut bust the wheelie. This is officially the first wheelie. You ready? Let's see what I can do with it. That was a hoagie willy. Why is the first one always the hoagie John? Them track threw, threw me off. Yo, <laughs> why is the the first John the hoagie John for me? Or was it the bike? Was like 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 the bike needed a little like a little fat to get warmed up to activate that clutch? <laughs> yeah, if y'all were wondering what type of setup I have on this scooter. Right now, this scooter is running a stock 50 head. Um, it's still all stock 50. The only parts it has is really a pipe, a thousand clutch spring, uh, a 115 main jet. Now it has a k and racing filter, and it has some 4.7 racing rollers, which is why it's not that good for top end. I mean, it hits 50, but it's really built for a pep. You know what I mean? It's really built for like the takeoff. That's why I can pick it up. Look at that. Whoa, scrape, scrape. You heard that? Whoa, whoa, squiggly, bobbly. Yo, these, these headphones are about to fly off my ear, yo. But anyway, let me get back to the demonstration. That's why I can pick it up like nice. You know what I mean? Because it has a good, nice roller on it. Look at that. It's chilling. It's comfortable. And, whoa, scrape. Uh -huh. Thing is, I got so comfortable. We're riding it, it became cool, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna just take you guys on a little ride. Till this battery die, right? I should do one of them Johns, I should do one of the Rue Johns. Hey, yo, Rue, you be, you be riding to the battery die, right, bro? <laughs> His whole video would be like, yo, I'm just rock out to the battery die. Second battery die, the video just ended. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, so fat! Oh! I fuck a fat dude! That was like a fat dude, Willie. <laughs> you heard that? Like, brrrr, brrrr. That was straining. Yeah, I'm a little tight. There you go. Get loose, get loose, dude. You tight, bro. <laughs> get loose. Ah, oh, skate, skate. Ah, oh, skate. Go, go, dude. Say, nah, I gotta stop. I gotta obey the law. <laughs> obey the law. Hey, yo, if I ever do a stunt video for y'all, I know, I know. I gotta put on a helmet, right? I'm gonna have people bash me. Like, Why don't you have a helmet, you scooter idiot? <laughs> nah. 
I think if I do stunt videos for y'all, I'm gonna rock a helmet. That'll be awesome for the view too. It'll give me a cool view, so I ain't gotta wear the head strap. You know what I mean? Protect my head. Whoa, protect my head and then give me oh, give me a cool view. Come on, man, talk at the same time. Protect my head and give me a cool view. <laughs> All right, there you go, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. The dog's like, shut up, why don't you? Hey, doggy. Good boy. How you doing, boy? How's you doing, boy? He like, what's that noise, man? Go ahead, buddy. You can drive by me. There's people trying to go by. I'm gonna let them go by. Oh, no, they're not. Sorry. Oh, no, there's like another whole army of people about to go by. Look at it. <laughs> It's like a whole army of people. Yo, what are they doing right here? Construction-wise, in the middle, right? What are they up to? What are they gonna do? They're gonna build a, a lane just for Willian. Just so a like Willie down. <laughs> Bikes only. Like, yeah! You can come down American Street and there's a bike lane just for their bikes. Oh! Like, yeah, that'd be crazy, right? Like, build like a track, like a Willie track on American Street. That'd be crazy. Cause American Street's pretty long, bro. American Street's long. This is a nice long street. I mean, it's a little messed up, but like, oh man, I got traffic behind me. It's like it's a little messed up, but it's long. All these railroad tracks kind of suck too. See, I got traffic behind me. This is why this is called the Willie Lane. Watch how easy this is. Bam! I'm out of traffic's way. Look it. Oh, now they turn. That's salty. Anyway, but look it. Now I gotta worry about having traffic behind me. Cause I'm on a private road, but it's a bumpy road. That's cool though. Still Willie boy, right? Yeah, I've been trying to teach myself how to Willie over. Whoa, over bumps. <laughs> that was a crooked Willie. I was trying to teach myself how to Willie over bumps. Cause you know Philly messed up, yo. Wow, I'm Willie and really hoagie today. Whoa, huge bumps. I don't know. I know I messed with this a little bit. I messed with the idle screw just a tad bit. There you go. There you go. There you go! Because I turned the idle screw down. Yeah, the clutch couldn't engage. Lex gave me that name. <laughs> Lex called me Tunage. Lex was one of the first ones to call me Tunage. Lex and G, both of them, the brother. Yeah, Tunage is kind of cool because, like, I mean, I don't know if that's why they intended to call me Tunage, but um, Marvel Comics, or was it Marvel Comics? DC? I don't know. Somebody cor correct me. They got Maximum Carnage. Maximum Carnage is like, like Venom. From Spider-Man, but he's like red. He's he cool. He's cool as ever. And he was one of my favorite in all the games, yo. Maximum Carnage was one of my favorite characters, yo. I swear, cause he looked this sick, bro. Like Maximum Carnage is dope. So they call me Tunage with like the A G E at the end, and that's decent, dog. Like Tunage, Carnage, Maximum Tunage. <laughs> maximum Tunage couldn't will it to the end, you sucker. So no. But like, yeah, like, yo, check out my homeboy driving caviar. Yo, let me that box, dog. I'm about to drive caviar. I delivered some vegan food for an hour. I'm like, yo, let me, let me get a bite. They're like, your hour just clocked in. You made 25 cents. <laughs> fat boy, why am I willing like a fat boy? Go slow, too. Slow down, too. You all high? You trying to go fast? He high? He high? He was hyped the Willie. Nah, it's just because, like I said, I'm tight. Like, I got it now. I got it real comfortable now. I got it real comfortable. This is cool. Whoa, almost fell off. It almost fell off, and I got back. Ooh, scraped again. You almost fell, bro. <laughs> Let me stop. I got a car behind me. I almost fell right there. I'm wearing ball shorts, too. So, the ball short with the seat material <laughs> makes me very slippery. <laughs> So if I like pull back, like a couple times that's happened to me. Like if I pull back, that's what happened to me when I was at um, Decent Watson practicing. Um, I slipped off and I fell back because the, cause the shorts were really slippery. But like, yeah, y'all. Check out that rough house, y'all. Yo, y'all saw that, right? That was cool. Y'all saw that rough house, right? Yeah, we got a rough house in the hood. 
We got a rough house in the hood. I don't want to be all newsy, but we got a rough house in the hood. Y'all saw that? That joint had the little, the little gates and everything. I hope y'all could see that. <laughs> that joint had the gates and all. That joint was chilling. The little, the guard rails. It had the cow rails, the front cow rail, and the back two cow rails on the side, and then the one on the back. I only got the one on the rear. Oh, look at that scooter. <laughs> little, little meet me. Look at that joint. A venture, a metro venture. That joint got an empty floorboard. It don't look like it got a battery or anything in it. Oh wow, so let me pop a willy, right guys? Pop a willy. Pop a willy. Two pop a willies now. Two swerving now. Oh, nah, two about to run into that brick. That's what he about to do. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that I got to master too. You know, it's crazy because in the beginning, I was like, yeah, man, I'll be happy if I do a block. Now I'm doing like, you know, I'm able to do two, three blocks doing some basic just willying. And now I'm not even like <laughs> satisfied. Now I'm like, yo, tune, all right, now you gotta level it up. <laughs> now you gotta start letting go of hands. This is a meet me though, so the power is like little, you know what I mean? But they ain't no excuses, no excuses, right? So I just gotta manage to make it work. But like, yeah, you know, start letting go of hands, start like playing with my legs and the footwork. But like, you gotta keep in mind that I just started putting in work on this jump, like what? Three weeks ago, maybe. Yeah, like three, four weeks ago, look at this. Ah, uh, uh, talking crap. Ah, uh, that's that, that's what I get for talking. I should just focus. When I focus, I can really farther. But you know what I mean. I'm here trying to engage with y'all to talk, cause that's what vlogging's about. Talking, right? Yo, how do y'all like this microphone, yo? Yo, this microphone puts all my other vlogs audio to shame. And to think that this is a seven dollar microphone. This ain't no hundred dollar microphone. This ain't no 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 two hundred dollar microphone. This is a little $6.99, $7 microphone. This don't sound pretty good for being a cheap microphone. And it serves the purpose. Right now I'm not listening to no music, but I'm just doing, whoa, timber she goes. I was about to go down for the count. Come on, people. Damn, it's nice and shady in there. Yeah, this is the spot to really at. See, I like really in spots where it's shady. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and shady under here. Yeah, shady. Whoa, whoa. Shade, shade. There you go, too. Aw, oh, stop swerving. Ah, uh, that was a little girly little little thing I did at the end. I should have just stood up. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go? Oh, no, Mario. Oh, no. Bike on three o'clock, say no. <laughs> Yo, my back itch. Why my back itch? Ah, somebody scratch it. I need to scratch it. Ah. Yo, my back itch, though. Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. You ready? There you go. Throw the pop, man. Ooh, and I scrape. And I got to stop, though, before I get into this Milan and be like the next Disney movie. <laughs> Genuine Rough House Milan. <laughs> They're gonna be combined into one. Yo, come on, yo, come on. Child, really? They're slowing down, like, really? In my back itch, though. He's looking at me like, what is this dude doing? I'm scratching my back, bro. My back itch, bro. What time is it? 6.21. Where should I Willie at? Damn, it's sunny over there. <laughs> I think I wanna stay right here for a little bit. Then, let me do one more up here and then bam, I'm gonna go back, right? I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back. Sorry, I gotta really away from the sun. I can't really towards the sun, I'm gonna go blind. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! Ah, that was weak. That was weak. I could have did the whole block. That was so weak. It's because I'm still getting this contour thing, dog. Like, the contour is crazy. Like this little contour, like how that changes to that and that changes to that. Like the streets, we all, like you gotta get that balance on a beam. Like your balance gotta be, you see, and if you tilt, you gotta just go with it. You gotta swerve your body with that jump. See, swerve. Right there, the jump playing weak, but it ain't, it's cause I'm not trying to slip off the seat too with my, my little slippery pants situation. When I ride with cargoes, I, I be having maximum grip. <laughs> I be having maximum grippage. There you go. There you go. Too. Oh, 
out to the street. Wow, I did a little baby scrape. <laughs> hey, my fender looks crazy now. Pretty soon that fender is going to be doing nothing, Vato. Bustle, will you bust? Yeah, that was unnecessary. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that grounds contour. Tune wasn't ready yet. Say no. But yeah. Hey, I'm nowhere near, you know what I mean? The most superb willier. However, I can keep it up. <laughs> I can keep it up, buddy. I can keep it up. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Oh, no, the car behind me. Come on, man. Whatever. They got weight. They got weight because two guys show YouTube that he can willy. They got weight because two guys show YouTube. Wait, show YouTube, too. They just got weight behind you. Beep at him. Oh! The beep didn't go in effect. I should have beeped. I should have beeped in Willie. That would have been cool, right? Meet me. Oh, there's a law in front of us. Yeah, that's going to be my signature move. In order to get in the squad, you got to Willie and beep at the same time. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let traffic go by because I'm trying to have fun and they're trying to drive through through me. Like, come on, man. And then they want to be mad staring at me. Like, keep that job pushing, bro. Mind your business. I'm here vlogging. I'm talking to YouTube. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, but let me come on, come on, come on, Tim. Focus. Focus, dog. You ain't focus. You're not focused. You're about to take an L. That's what you're about to do. Let me get on a more compassionate street. Hey, oh, they playing soccer, dog. Check that out. They playing soccer. Hey, yo. The audio better not have messed up. I will beat this camera up. Say no. All right, this looks like a perfect sheet to Willie. And there's nobody behind me. Shit enough, dog. Why you crooked? You know what I notice when I talk crap? My Willie in sucks. Let me focus. Look at this tiny little head. So tiny little head. But William still sucks whether I'm quiet or I talk. <laughs> Yo, how much battery life work I left? This John's still blinking, so whatever. I'm out here. I'm out here. That's how they be, right? I'm out here. Yeah, man. So I hope to add, you know, a couple entertaining projects, you know, just probably pertaining to my personal hobbies, crafts, interests that you guys might be interested in too, you know. We probably got a lot of similarities, a lot of likes and common interests. I used to be in a lot of hobbies growing up, but like I let a lot of them go because I was told that they weren't efficient and they couldn't really make money. But um, I noticed a lot of the greatest billionaires or wealthiest people on earth are making a living doing what they love to do. So if they're making a living doing what they love to do, why shouldn't I make a living doing what I love to do? I mean, I do love film. Thank you. Thank you. I do love film and I do love doing video production. That's my heart and that's what I'm going to do until I leave this earth. However, I got 21 other little hobbies and interests too. Why can't I do those too? <laughs> yeah, I swear, but why? Why can I not do those? Like, come on. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think that's going to be the verdict. So don't be surprised when you see some... I mean, I'm still going to do the, the, the film-related things for my film-related people. You know, don't, don't get a twist. I'm still going to try to incorporate some educational stuff. But I do want to have some fun too, you know what I mean? As you can see, I've been out on a meet meet. I took the meet meet out more than I should have. But as you know, as you saw, I was doing like multi-cam shoots. You know, I, I was experimenting and I was learning, I was practicing. It, it was no way I was just gonna get a perfect shoot the very first day taking the meet meet out without them cameras, without experimenting with them several times before the actual shoot. Now, if I do a shoot or if I do an engagement, you know, an hour or two hours long where there's a large pack of bikes or me and a couple buddies, everybody William, and I want to make an epic video, I got this heck of a workhorse. And I'm going to probably add another two active on cameras. So at the end of the day, this might be like a six camera shooter. You feel me? I might have like six cameras on this jump eventually. That's being, you know, me, like body cams, head cam, chest cam, and then, you know, I have like four on the school school. You know what I mean? On a little Mimi. So it's like, yeah, man. So. 
I am trying. I am trying, guys. And this definitely, you know, remember, y'all gotta remember this. Mimi came out based on a, based on a viewer request. <laughs> You know, I had a couple of viewers ask like, hey, what's up with the bike footage and 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 what's up with like, you know, the go-kart stuff and I do want to bring the go-kart out too, guys. I do want to bring the go-kart out. That joint a little beast. And I used to have more of them joints, man. It's a shame that I ain't got, you know what I mean, as many as I used to. So I could share the more crazier beast you know? But I but I got one one nice joint that's that's you know what I mean, that that you know, has some fun. You know what I mean? We we got some fun with it. It, it got some push, it, it can do little circles and donuts and stuff, and it's a micro car. And I'm gonna drift that on through the city. Watch me, don't believe me? Watch me. Yeah, we gonna have fun. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, I said enough of William. Go back to talking. <laughs> and then I talked the whole hour, right? Yeah. Papa Willie, whoa. Shit, you know, Papa Willie's, wow, I start out crooked. I gotta stop starting out crooked. That whole, that whole drop, the drop of like the way it went up and it went down, that's my fault though. I think I could do this, this joint, just nice. Like, uh, let me let this, this van go, go by. This van about to run me over. Go ahead, dog. All right, now I can really, there you go. Now I can really, now I can really. See, there you go, now I can really. There you go. Hey, we move. He's like, he's not gonna hit my car. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Check it out. They added a second story on top of that building. Wasn't that like a, like a bar or a club or something? Burks in Germantown, so from Burks. There'll be mad accidents out here, yo, bus accidents. I swear there's like 15, nah, not like 15, but probably like six, several bus accidents that I remember that happened here, right here in this corner. This whole little corner always be having some crazy action on it. All right, time to Willie, time to Willie. Oh, the law. <laughs> you heard me? Time to Willie, time to Willie. That was funny, that was priceless. This is the most priceless time to Willie session ever. Time to Willie, time to Willie. Yeah, and get a little ticket. Well, that's a female cop. She probably wouldn't have even wasted her time. Then again, she could have probably been feeling like, like super strong. But like, yeah, now I'm gonna chase it and I'm, and I'm gonna earn my badge. You know? What? She gonna see me from her rear view mirror. But I'm gonna clock this joint. There you go. This street's nice. See, this street's nice. When the street's nice, whoa! I could keep going with the Energizer Bunny. But I'm still learning like the messed up street concept. <laughs> see, watch. Nice street equals Energizer Bunny. Watch this. Watch this. Slow bobbing off. Oos. There you go. Oos. 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 You see that? And I'm going to stop because it's a stop sign and there'll be cops left and right at me. So if I don't stop, I'm going <laughs> to... You know what I mean? I might potentially get a ticket. Let's go left. And let's take our secret. Mem Yo, remember our secret? You see there's traffic behind me. And now I'm chilling and traffic can't do nothing about them. Oh, you see? You see, this is a nice street. You see, bye bye traffic. Uh, and I was going for that button. That, that that button should be placed up here. I gotta go all down here just just to Willie and beep at the same time. Why, why she laughing? Why she hating? Cause she saw my butt crack, huh? She saw my butt crack, huh? She laughing? She saw my butt crack. She was cracking up. She was like, ha 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 ha. I see that guy's butt crack, William on a 50. <laughs> Alright, well, they're gonna have to look. All these bumps, though. All these bumps. It's like mad bumpy right here. <laughs> that decent Watson parking lot is dope. And yo, and matter of fact, I just found out that they um got RC cars there, and you know I used to have RC cars. I used to have like over for for roof ride over hundred of them like on the low, <laughs> but like yeah, I mean I used to have mad RC cars. Yeah, they do my stuff, and I found out that they got RC cars back there where the ah uh, track threw me off. Yeah, I found out that they got RC cars back where um decent watching at. I saw my homie Vic, yeah, from Streetscapers there the other day. Yeah, Vic clocking it now too. Yeah, shout out Vic, shout out Vic. Yeah, 
Vic Clark, and I saw him out there, and he said that they'd be riding out there, yeah. I mean, I'm not too much into the RC scene anymore. Like, I like more or less, like, customizing them, drifting them, building them. Racing them is cool. I had a couple fast RCs, but, like, I mean, speed is only for so much. That's just since you can't ride the RC car, you gotta, like, operate it with a button. I mean, with a, with a remote and, and some buttons, so it's like, you know what I mean? The law's in front of me too, yeah. You still got battery? Yeah, we still got battery, it's cool. They pull me over? You guys, come with me on the journey. <laughs> Yo, one day I'm gonna get pulled over and I'm gonna have this, this joint on. That's dope. We're gonna hear the whole conversation about the... Oh, wow. Let me read this poem on this wall, you ready? A poem from the community, street rhythm. Oh no, it's in Spanish. We're gonna keep pushing it. Say no. <laughs> it says, El ritmo de la calle pounding out. Oh man, forget, forget that sign, yo. That is done in Spanish, and I'm not gonna sit here and translate each and every line. You know what I do instead of translating each and every line? <laughs> I will be. That's the answer to everything right now. William. Bark that John too. Bark, 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 bark. Bark Simpson, bark, bark. Oh, 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 Swerve Simpson. <laughs> Swerve Alina Julie. Yo. Available. Somebody buy me that a lot right there. Hook it up. Hook it up on a cookout, dog. You, you gotta get my own planet. It's like, you know. <laughs> it's fun, dog. Oh, Swerve game. Swerve game. Oh, Swerve right into the pump and get soaked while you're at it. <laughs> Ain't no swerve game. Ain't no swerve game, young boy. Swerve game weak, young boy. They're like, young boy, you gotta step your weight up. Stop parking a lot pimping, young boy. Chill, I'm gonna park a lot pimp. I'll be parking a lot killing it. And then when I get to the street, I don't know how to wheelie. <laughs> Yo, the bull was over there like 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 digging grass over there with his hands. I'm not sure why though. It was like on the corner, he was sitting down. Like, and he looked at me. Like what? Dude, what you doing? You like there taking grass? So what do you like? It's six o'clock. You're not on shift. What do you do? Like the local like like I don't know landscaper or something? I don't know. <sighs> All right, so I got fuel. I'm not sure how much battery life I got left, but I still got more Willie left in me. <laughs> All right, Willie have more Willie in me. Do you want a Willie? Cause I really want a Willie. Willie! Willie! See, Omega Street is a dope street. It's nice. Certain parts of it. Not all of it, but certain parts of Omega Street is dope. See, that's dope. I could have probably kept on going, but I'm not trying to get caught on the low. I got tagged. I got tagged, y'all. I'm not trying to get my little, you know what I mean? <laughs> Little point, you know what I mean? For, for wheeling across the stop sign. <laughs> but how about this, guys? What do you guys think? Ah, uh, you guys think that sucks, right? Say, no, there's this car behind me, too. Fontoon, you still ain't like do a, a, a meet meet while you wheeling. How you want people to get in the squad and not do it? <laughs> You want people to get in the squad and not do it? That'd be like the requirement. They're like, yo, can you get in your squad and can you meet me? <laughs> he be like, bro, my horn don't work. Can I still get in your squad? <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, no, you gotta go meet me with your. Yo, look at that lot. I'm about to start taking over lots. They're gonna call me the lot crusher. <laughs> oh, wow. This looks familiar, right? This is where I did the motivational little speech at. How's it feel living in Philadelphia? You guys want me to take you somewhere different, huh? You're like, come on, Tune, stop going down America Street. The battery's about to die. Like, you're still going down America Street. All right, I got you. I'll take you through the hood. I'll take you through some blocks that might be familiar to some of y'all. And if you're not from Philly, you're going to be lost in the South. She's like, oh my God, where, where is he going through? OMG, where do they live at? <laughs> we live in the hood, bruh. Philadelphia hoods. 
see a bunch of essays on every corner, so you don't see a bunch of essays. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, it's cool. Y'all go first. Ladies first. The law behind me and the law behind me and the law on the left and the law on the right. But there's means, you know what that means, right? That means I can really. You know, law, huh? It's really what? Uphill. Should I go through the stop sign? I go through it. You want me to go through it, right? Uh, I went through it. And I did a horrible wheelie. I dropped it. For that, I should just stop. <laughs> I dropped it like on the other half of the stop sign. That was a waste of a wheelie. That was really a waste of a wheelie. Yo, what's up with them blocking streets, dog? Two trying to get through. What are they doing here? Lost. Yo, they still blocking this job? What, what are they doing with Fifth Street? Man, they are drawling with 5th Street right now. I'm trying to use 5th Street, you know what I mean? I'm trying to like, show y'all the hood, but like, whatever. It's cool, it's cool. Y'all want me to take you around Broad Street before the battery die? I'll take you around Broad Street before the battery die. I'll take you around Broad Street. I don't know how much battery I got left, my dog. But we're just going to play a guessing game. Yo, shouldn't I cut it now? What if What if I don't cut it now and then it doesn't, it doesn't export, like it doesn't save, it doesn't write out. That's happened to me before. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut. We're going to take a quick commercial break. All right, guys. So according to my calculations, that clip should have written out successfully. We are back from our commercial break. And make sure my audio is still plugged in and nothing funky happened because we know that the audio could come loose. Yeah, and we're back. We're still in the hood. <laughs> 7th in Indiana. Yeah, man. So, anyway. I guess let me talk something film related before the battery dies, right? We're riding in the hood. Let's talk film related. Yeah, being a filmmaker uh, or, a, or a young creative person with a camera living in the hood is interesting. You know why? Because not many people take what we do as serious. Not people value what we do. They don't value our craft. Especially since nowadays, it all, like, revolves around the camera. Cameras come on everything. Like on cell phones, on tablets, on iPads. There's a camera on everything. And basically, you're charging someone for your skill on using a camera. So people don't take that serious. So it's tough when you're in the hood, and then you're growing up with all these different obstacles, such as murder, crime, etc., etc. You know what I mean? It's kind of difficult. Different people handle stress differently. You know what I mean? It'll be interesting to like interview inner city directors or cinematographers or creative people like you know grab 20 you know directors from the hood right that literally grew up in the hood like in chicago and because like, i know there's some real quality good dudes out there that can operate you know cameras and, and and direct and do some dope videos and they're from the hood right and they're still living in the hood or they're from the hood and then i'm sure there are a variety of creative gurus or directors and cinematographers that grew up in better i wouldn't say you know let's just say more fortunate situations you know no one situation is more fortunate than the other but like you know living in the suburbs you know in a peaceful town in a quiet town with mom and pop in the picture and you know you know not moving around their whole lives and, and not going through a lot of drama not seeing drug violence and, and all this stuff around them wonder how how filmmaking and 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 their endeavors are treating them you know what i mean it's pretty interesting through 20 and 20 right that'd be like a whole little show in itself like interviewing directors and like what they faced you know to get where they're at now you know like what type of obstacles and what are they still facing because just because one may be more fortunate than the other doesn't mean that they're not facing anything like everybody's living a tough life you know what i mean um nothing's easy and nothing comes free it all comes with work effort and you know time but you know it's just interesting you know because this is my layout i can imagine you know uh a creative person's layout in Kali. They might have a beautiful layout. Like, mine is ruggish, you know what I mean? I look at it as beautiful and stuff. Like, all right, it's it's the hood, but it's beautiful. It's my hood, you know what I mean? But, like, somebody from, let's say, Beverly Hills will come here and be like, ew, this is ugly. Look at that, look at that. It's ugly, you know what I mean? It's trash and this and that, right? But to each his own. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Somebody over there has palm trees every day, you know what I mean? A creative person out in in you know the west coast or in the mountains or anywhere with beautiful scenic imagery they have one a heck of a, a backdrop you feel me like arizona or like washington or like nebraska or arkansas or i don't know colorado things that are in the oklahoma omaha i don't know i'm thinking of like things that are like in the middle of nowhere 
mountains, valleys, creeks, beautiful colors, you know, the environment, the landscaping right there is mad inspiration. Yeah, so like, it's a little interesting. Wow, it's green light. I wonder what these people are doing. They're probably texting, of course, you know. But yeah, so, I think it's interesting, yo. Like, you know, I'm not using anything as an excuse. I just think it would be interesting to analyze it, you know, and maybe put it in a book for other young up-and-coming filmmakers or people operating cameras. Because I'm proud to see that there's a lot of young dudes right now coming up in the camera game and like educating themselves and growing and creating good work, good quality work, and they're youth and they're young boys. There's a lot of them. From music videos to, to bike videos to creative, you know, plug-in promo content and stuff like, and that's dope because be, being that, go ahead, he about to run me over. People have rage, yo, for no reason. And he, he rushed into a, a red light. Like, that don't even matter. Like, that don't make no sense. Like, for real, for real, he rushed to it. I could just cut right by him, like, so easily and so bluntly and so vaguely. Watch this, watch this. Why were you rushing? There was no reason to rush because homeboy wanted to meet me. He was going to pass you anyway. Look, look, look. Meet me? I passed you anyway. Like, so you wasted your time rushing past me. Like, why people do that? They haven't learned. The meet me is like, you know, here for a reason. The meet me got a specific reason. And that reason is to save time, <laughs> cut traffic, and we'll lay. Oh no, my butt crack's showing again. I feel it. <laughs> I feel the air. I'm like, yo, no, no, there ain't no women around here. That's how the woman was laughing at me. There ain't, there ain't nothing but dudes around me. They're gonna be like, <laughs> no, I don't even wanna know what they're gonna be like. I'm gonna let everybody go. Yeah, man, but. Battery still ain't died yet. Damn, we Gucci. All right, GoPro. So this is used though. This is a, this is a used GoPro. So like, the battery life don't last as long as a new one. But Active On, yo, the Active On's really killing it. Other than the audio, the Active On doesn't take audio. Doesn't take a microphone. That's the only downfall of the Active On. But when it comes to like battery life, yo, the Active On kills it. The black one. I'm, I'm gonna get two more blacks. Like for real, for real. I'm gonna get two more black. I should probably even do like an Active On black giveaway or something, right? Like. I don't know, stay tuned. I'm thinking about trying to do some, some cool stuff. I still got to do the one giveaway. And when I reach 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away that vintage camera, that Kodak camera. Yeah. But aside from that, after that first giveaway, I might do like a 10,000 subscriber giveaway, then like a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to think of some stuff. I'm going to think of something creative, you know, you know, you know. We still got some stuff coming. We still got some stuff coming. Stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, we on Percy and Venango. Now we on Knife and Venango. Now we on Darien and Venango. Now we on Hutchin and, Hutchison and Venango. Yeah, I'm just pointing that street show. We don't know that. We right here on <laughs> Venango. <laughs> Yo. I might as well read some graffiti. Mace, rapid, mace. Uh, go, rapid, mace. On your left hand side, you will see Darien Street. You will see a one car drive through garage. On your right hand side, you will see a Poppy on a bicycle. On a Schwinn counterfeit knockoff Toys R Us bicycle. Saying, Toys R Us went out of, out of business. Yo, doesn't that suck? Did all the original stores of the 90s kids like, are out of business? Like Radio Shack, Kmart, um, Toys R Us. Um, what other ones? Caldor, um, Circuit City. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that like are out of business or like went out of business that like were the it back in the day and then nobody care about them like them drones that like, blockbuster man uh, remember blockbuster black yeah y'all remember blockbuster right blockbuster went out of business like kids these days would never know the struggle of having to rewind the tape before returning it you feel me like that's crazy dog yeah like, oh yo the wind about to take these headphones yeah, the kids would never know the struggle about rewinding the tape, yo. It's crazy, because I remember renting games. I remember renting the Sega Michael Jackson game from Blockbuster. Yo, that was one of my favorite games in the whole world. OMG, I loved it. It was on Sega. Yo, that was my favorite game ever. Yo, you should press a button and be like, woo, woo, woo. Like, you know how Michael used to, woo. Yo, I'm telling you, that was the game of a lifetime. And I was mad that I had to return it. And I think at the time it was like so much money that like we couldn't afford it. Or like for some reason, I don't know why I didn't own it. Because Michael Jackson like, was like one of my favorite like musicians growing up. Like probably the favorite, the only main favorite musician growing up. Like 
Michael, you know what I mean? Um, so like, yeah, man, like, it's crazy, dog. Like, we passing Porky's Point on our right hand side. I be getting like rice and beans from there, that's it. You know, they mainly sell meat products, so I can't really get anything else. But yeah. Go ahead, busting that left. Hey, yo, that warehouse is called the Poja Warehouse. The Poja, P-O-J-A, but I'm assuming that, that that J is silent or like an accent, like Spanish, Poja. What time is it, yo? I'm gonna bust this left. I think I'm gonna pick up my wife so we can go and eat. Yeah, I'm hungry, yo. I'm hungry. I spent most of the day editing. Yeah, I know, I know. Such a shame. I like editing, guys. It's like my video game. Anyway, I spent most of the day editing and um, I just uploaded yesterday's vlog. It was a sad vlog. You know, my little young boy Tyree Bates passed away. The Bates family. Um, my condolences go out to the mom and father. Sorry for your loss. You know what I mean? I know nothing's gonna soothe your pain, but. Keep your head up, you know? I'm busting this left right here on 5th of Luzern, yo. 5th of Luzern. And I'm going straight towards the sun. I need some sunglasses, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, YouTube, don't be trying to give me no advertisement talking about sunglasses now. I don't need you to sell me sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, I swear I be talking about stuff in the vlogs, yo. And then it comes up in the actual suggestion. Like, for example, like I talked about Michael Jackson. I won't be surprised if I say Michael Jackson several other times. YouTube will start recommending Michael Jackson videos to me. That's crazy, right? They call that like, like helpful. It's, it's supposed to be helpful. It's supposed to be like they're, they're suggesting stuff that we are interested in, but it might be helpful to some, it might be creepy to others. So, you know what I mean? All right. Oh, all right. I sound like a rapper, right? How about that, that, that rap sound? I don't know. Who started that rap sound like that? Y'all, y'all, y'all. You already know my flow. You already know I get dope. You already know I gotta go pro. It's like, no, they act them on camera. But yeah, like, it's like, no, I do gotta go pro. It's on my chest. But who, who started that? Like, it seems like a lot of musicians do that. Like, for my city, like, y'all. I don't know. I think Fetty Wap did it. A couple other dudes did it, but like, was there somebody that really started it? Like, and then they put the little auto tune on it, so it kind of does sound like it got a melody or like harmonic. <laughs> Yo, what's up with this dude? This dude in front of me going like 2.9 miles an hour. I just realized how slow he was going. Yo, he was going so slow. I was talking to y'all, but I wasn't even realizing how slow he was going. It was green light, and I'm like, Yo, why aren't we going anywhere? <laughs> oh man, come on. Yo, should I just cut traffic? Should I just just draw to the end of the vlog? Just draw to him. Draw to him. Draw! <laughs> Yo, I haven't really, have I? I've been so focused on talking, I haven't really. I say, like, focus on one or the other tune. Yeah, because like when I'm talking really, like, my distance isn't as acceptable. <laughs> when I talk in Willie, it's just like, I get a little distant, but, you know what I mean? Yo, what's up? We gotta start the 50 squad. We gotta start Philly's first official 50 squad. Seriously. 50. Yeah, you get in with a 50. And you scrape. <laughs> the law don't really mess with 50, do they? I don't know, do they? I don't think the law mess with 50s. Like, if you're a law enforcer, why would you waste your effort and time on a little 50? Unless they're doing something crazy, reckless, and dangerous in public. Or like did a robbery or something crazy on a 50, which I don't foresee anyone. <laughs> oh, I don't recommend anyone doing a robbery on a 50. I don't know how far you're gonna get unless you plan on doing some like Jarvis stuff and like, you know, do flips and all types of stuff. Funny hop over gates and stuff. I don't know how with a 50, but like, yeah, this dude behind me is trying to go through me. So I think I highly recommend myself to move out of the way so I don't get messed up and ran over. Oh man. Yeah, beep beep. They beep, so I beep back, right? That's the law, that's the law of meep life. Somebody beep at you, you gotta beep back. How about we get a train horn? Somebody mail me a train horn so I can stall on this joint. That'd be crazy, right? A large train horn. So people beep at me, I'd be like, And just like, you know what I mean, right? That'd be dope. Yo, should I bust a willy here? No, I got traffic behind me. I'm gonna still bust a willy. I'm gonna bust a willy. Should I bust a willy? Bust a willy. 
Bust a Willie. Bust a Willie. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, but I'd rather talk to y'all. That's more fun. <laughs> They're like, shut up, too, and do both. Before, they wanted me to shut up and Willie. Now they want me to shut up and do both. Yo, music, shut up, music, copyright, copyright, blah, 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 Yo, that copyright be drawing. I'm telling you, if you let music play in your background for more than eight seconds, you ain't gonna be able to monetize your video. Yup, 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 that's true. Word up the Mon Dukes, you're not gonna be able to monetize your video because they're gonna say the music is owned and copyrighted. Yo, you hear that? Little Acker, little Acker and Tegger. He was burning out, that was a little weak, little, bye, little, bing, bing. He got like the little meet meep of cars. The Akron Tech is like the meet meep of cars. I want to meet meep of cars too. I got a little Civic. No hatchback EF Civic and I got a CRX SI. So, oh snap, I think I unplugged the wire. No, never, no, never. Yo, what's that? The law, the law, the law? It's like, wee, 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 wee. I'm going to keep it going. Oh no, that's like the fire department. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What about the run me over today? You don't pass me. People get so mad. They be like so offended. Especially when they got a Jordan logo. If they got a Jordan logo behind their vehicle, they usually get mad. <laughs> the funny part is that like, when they get mad and they do stuff like that, you can still like, pass them though. Like, watch this. That's the funny part. Like, they get mad and they're like, bam, you just pass them like that. Like, you wanna meet me? Meet me. The laws of a meet me is a meet me can cut through all traffic. This damn near a supermoto. They got off-road, little off-road tires. They got little shocks and suspension. They got a little torque right behind. This is like a supermoto. I'm supposed to go on sidewalks. And if I get pulled over and a cop be like, sir, why are you driving or operating that motor vehicle like that?